Salam alaikum. I'm Ibrahim Hooper with CARE's weekly news update. In response to the introduction of anti-Sharia bills in some 20 state legislatures, CARE this week released a toolkit to help defend religious liberty. Currently, legislators are attempting to fearmonger people into passing legislation that is anti-Islam and would reduce the protections of the Constitution. It's our duty as Muslims to stand up to that. We can't let anyone erode the Constitution. The toolkit that we've created allows local Muslim communities to organize their own campaigns to push back against anti-Islam, anti-constitutional legislation. Also this week, CARE took part in the release of a major study of American mosques that showed the growing Muslim community is well integrated and ethnically diverse. The growth in this area has been phenomenal. And the Council on American-Islamic Relations says a 74% increase in the number of mosques in the U.S. over the last decade is proof that the Muslim community is growing and diversifying. A lot of Muslims probably feel a lot more comfortable in their identity as Muslims to be able to practice. The Muslim community in America is growing, healthy, vibrant, and becoming more and more a part of the American landscape. CARE also dealt with new allegations that the White House helped fund the NYPD spying on Muslims. The fallout from the so-called spying scandal doesn't seem to be dying down at all. In fact, the Council on American-Islamic Relations is calling for President Obama to investigate. Why? Well, it was revealed that White House money partially was used to fund surveillance programs of Muslims in New York and New Jersey. Representatives from a number of Muslim organizations were expressing outrage and looking for answers. Nadia Kaff is a mother of a Rutgers student and chairperson of the New Jersey chapter of the Council on American-Islamic Relations. We're American in every sense of the word, and yet over and over again we have to prove that we're American. And this news of the NYPD surveillance just shows yet again that the only reason that we're being targeted is because of our ethnicity or our religion. And this is completely un-American. The NYPD spy scandal promoted anti-Muslim stereotypes such as this offensive political cartoon in the New York Post showing hook-nosed terrorists. Men who appear to be Muslim are making a bomb while an NYPD squad car is parked outside. One of the men is calling the Associated Press to complain that the NYPD is watching them. It's very like the anti-Semitic um, uh, propaganda and cartoons that were that were um, published all over Nazi Germany, at, you know, as it was growing towards uh, the World War, and uh, this sort of anti-Semitic theme, you know, to this is is something that a hate group would do. Cares Michigan director commented on this week's primary in that state and on Islamophobia in the presidential campaign. The Muslim community in general and Arab Americans really haven't been drawn to the GOP, one, because they haven't done any real outreach, but two, the GOP has used Islamophobia and xenophobia as a way of stirring up their base, from Romney to Gingrich and Santorum. They seem to use immigrants and Muslims as a whipping board to try to drum up support within the GOP base. To receive CARE's news updates and action alerts, sign up at care.com. To report discrimination or bias, email info at care.com. Salam alaikum. Learn more at care.com.